Pull up in the gold rim Tesla, that's not cheap Everything I do is electric on these streets Walk, walk up in the mall like I'll take one of each It all looks good on me, good on me, babe I always choose the priciest shoes if you are new to my channel, my name is Beige Ojai, and today I will be reviewing this wig that was sent to me from MyFirstWig.com. So the name of the wig that I am wearing is MFS003. The texture is silky, the hair length is 20 inches, the hair color is same as picture, which is a number 2 and a number 5D. The cap size is a size number 1, circumference 21 and a half to 22 inches, I'm guessing that's average. The cap construction is glueless lace cap. This is a full lace wig. And the lace color is medium brown. After cutting the lace off of this wig, I did go ahead and use Got To Be Ultra Glue Gel to gel this hair down in the front. And then I put my head scarf on to make sure that this, head, this wig is secured down on my head. And it is pretty secure down on my head. So as soon as I saw the wig, I fell in love with it right away because it reminded me so much of Ali's hairstyle that she used to wear in the 90s. And to give this wig more of a 90s look, I did go ahead and cut extra layers into this hair because this wig, when I first took it out of the package, did not come with much layers at all. In fact, it didn't come with any layers <laughs> at all. So I had to go ahead and with the inspiration photo that I saw on their website, I had to go ahead and emulate that by cutting some layers into it. And then I did these little, these, these bumps at the end of this, at the end of these layers layers to give me that 90s look this hairstyle would not be this hairstyle without these bumps that I had to use my flat iron and create and it's just so cute <laughs> the wig I believe came with a bang on this side which is my right hand side but I did change it to have a bang on my left side but at any time period I can go ahead and change the bang back to the right or I can do a middle part or whatever that I choose to do and I love the fact that it is like a yakier texture so it does mimic African-American hair when pressed out or when relaxed and I, I really do like that about this wig so after I washed and deep conditioned this hair I did use a heat protectant before blow drying the hair and I also used an iron guard by Chi to flat iron the hair to further protect it because I didn't want it to, you know, become damaged and brittle from all of the excessive heat that I was putting on these gorgeous, gorgeous colored locks here. But I really, really do like this wig a lot. I think it's really, really cute. Definitely looks natural. I did not have to pluck any hairs from the hairline to make it look natural. I feel like this wig came with a natural looking hairline already. It was pre-plucked, so it did get thinner in the front and gradually grow into a thicker density. And I love when wigs or frontals or closures are like that when it has a gradual density because it looks a lot more natural and you don't have to worry about spending hours and hours trying to pluck it to make it look natural. So that's a plus with this wig. So I haven't noticed much shedding from this hair. You do expect some type of shedding when you have any type of, even with your natural hair, your hair is going to shed. So, and especially with this being full lace, you're going to get some shed hair, but I didn't get a crazy amount of shed hair. So that's also a plus with this wig. So this wig was sent to me through DHL. When I opened my package, it came in this box that says my first wig, quality wigs for beginners. And as a beginner wearing a wig, this company does give you all of the things that you will possibly need as a beginner wig wearer. So you get a wig luggage bag. You get a wig cap. You get this makeup or a hair bag. And inside of that bag, you have an elastic band. You get two of these hair clips. You also get some bobby pins. You also get a rat tail comb. So when you're trying to get your parting right, this helps you with that. You get an instruction manual and it basically tells you about the company. It tells you about the different things that you get in your box and what they're used for. And you also get a wig stand in your package. The density of this wig, I'm not sure the exact density of it, but it is a natural density. It's not too full and it's not too thin. So one more thing that I really liked about this wig is the color job. I feel like the color job was great. It was very professional looking. It was very even and I do like the color of this hair a lot. Just be mindful that if you get this wig in this color or any type of wig that is colored already, 
when you purchase it just be very mindful that you have to take extra care of it because it's been colored or bleached or dyed you would have to use products that specifically cater to color treated hair to give it the the care that it needs you don't want your hair to be you know extremely dry or damaged because you're using the wrong products on it and the products that you're currently using might be stripping the hairs of its natural oil and if it's lightened a color other than black then you will be able to see that more clearly if that makes any sense so you have to use products that are specially formulated to treat or to care for color treated hair because otherwise you will notice your hair won't be looking the way that you want it to look so definitely keep that in mind try to keep the oils in the hair as much as possible and that will give you a longer wear out of color treated hair that's pretty much it for this review thank you so much for watching please let me know down below in the comment section what you think about this wig please let me know if you will be trying this type of hairstyle if you're into the 90s like I am let me know down below in the comment section what you think about it and I thank you so much for watching my name is Bejo Jai please hit that subscribe button down below and turn on your notifications if you have not already and I hope to see you in my next one bye guys I don't really know, I don't really know how I got a flow I don't wanna tell you I'm a pro Do a little run and I get it done Every time I spit it like a gun Mom said I must have been born with it I wasn't always so sure of it Now I, now I can see all the worth in it So I be burnishing Every time I get a little better So I gotta do it every single day Like I'm a junkie with a habit And I know it from the back For the head of the rabbit If you want it, you can have it Bring it up, I can bag it All my women that be rocking Look at all we even common Anything we gotta do We gotta do it like a problem And they say they wanna keep us at the bottom But we're too damn awesome Too damn awesome People ask me People ask me all the time, how you doing that? How, how you doing that? People ask me, people ask me all the time, how you doing that? Bust the rhyme. People ask me, people ask me all the time, how you doing that? How, how you doing that? People ask me, people ask me all the time, how you doing that? Bust the rhyme. I'm so fed up, I should be fat. I'm big poppy when I'm at bat. Fucking salad, we got no cap. Every time I do it like I do it, they gag. Can I be totally real with you? Yeah. Can't do what nobody tell you to. Nope. Once you decide what you